Hi. Okay. So, I just finished working a um, singles event. It's a trivia speed dating event. And I'm a hostess for a speed dating company also. I do a lot of things. I wear a lot of hats. So, you get used to me. Um, but I've been working with them for a few years. It's called OnSpeedDating.com. Or their sister company is SingleAndTheCity.com. And um, it, this, this one was being filmed by New York One. But it's funny because like I sit here and I do these videos for you guys and I'm like all into it. And then when I'm with them, I'm like, yeah, and yeah, so thank you for coming. You know, <laughs> I'm just totally different person. Oh, if I look good, it's pure editing. I'm telling you that. Um, but it was fun. I, I like hosting these speed dating events. I like to see what goes on. I think I get a lot of insight from talking to people about why they're single and seeing what they do and how they react and which couples kick it off and which ones don't, you know, um, recognizing signs and seeing people that are socially awkward and wondering, like, how did that happen? Like, you know, um, I'm grateful and thankful for my mom, best person on the planet for me. Um, I'm not going to say it's all perfect, you know, like there, it's a family, so there's ups and downs, but my mom is a, a lady, you know, she's a woman, and she used to judge beauty pageants, you know, for the, for the Dominican Council here in New York when I was younger, and, and she's just, you know, when I was growing up, she was so graceful and elegant, and I just wanted to be like her, she's beautiful. Um, now she's much older, she's still beautiful and graceful. I mean, she walks in a room and you can tell she's something, you know? Um, but she made, she helped develop me into the person that I am. But it wasn't just my mom, it was a community. And that's one thing that I wanted, I guess, to talk about today is like, you are a product of your community. You are a product of all the people that you come across, and you are a product of all the people in your family and your upbringing and your teachers and the things that your friends teach you and they tell you and going to your friends houses and seeing their parents and their family dynamic and then deciding what it is that you want to encompass as a human on your own so like I think I am a culmination of everything I've seen in my life and I was um, I guess you could say smart enough to I wouldn't want to say smart enough but to see the bad and be like you know what I don't want to you know, like this might be normal right now, but I, I don't, I don't want that in my life. I don't want that in my future. I didn't mimic it. I didn't duplicate it. I didn't say, well, this is my life, so this is what I'm gonna do. No, I was like, I don't like that. Mm -mm. I don't, I don't want that in my life. And then I took all the good, and I was like, oh, I love this. And when my tia always held my hand, like whenever she'd see me, she'd be like, ay, maidita, como estas? And she would just like hold my hands, and she always touched me. You know, so I'm a very touchy feely person, and some people are just like. Why are you touching? You know, <laughs> my sister's like that. She doesn't like you to touch her at all. Me, I'm like, give me a hug. You know, like ah. You know, and then I don't let go. Like I, I know, I have an issue with timing because I don't want to let go. I love bear hugs. You know, I love rubbing people on the back and you know, like playing with their hair and just doing this, like whatever. Um, I got that from my Thea come in. So thank you, Thea. Thank you very much. Um. I used to talk really fast, like, like if I could talk the way that I want to talk, like this is definitely how I talk because I just have so much to say and I have so little time and there's just so many things going through my mind that I just want to share everything with you because I haven't seen you in so long and oh my god. So anyway, let me tell you what happened. Anyway, the other day I was at the store, you know, like that's how I would talk. Uh, think six from Blossom, if you guys are that old, you all know what I'm talking about. Um, but I went door to door sales. Yes, I did. Business to business for five years, six days a week, you know, and I led a team of people and I worked like 12 hours a day. I did whatever it took. It was my first job out of college. Um, but it taught me to, to speak properly um, and to pause and to stand up in front of a group of people and talk about what worked for me um, and how I overcame obstacles that might have happened in the field. Uh, I really learned to speak well at this company because I used to talk so fast and we literally did all of New York and if you know New York it's full of so many ethnicities 
and most people have ESL, English as a second language. So the person that trained me, who I love very dearly, um, she taught me to pause. And her reasoning, and this is for anybody that's trying to be a public speaker or wants to speak or um, just wants to get better at, at speech, is pause. Because her reasoning is, this is English as a second language. So they need time to process what you're saying uh, so they can understand you. You know, and we wanted to make the sale. We had to like close these people on the spot and get cash or check, you know, right there on the spot. You know, and I just walk into your business and I'm like, hi, how are you? My name's Myra. I'm here on behalf of whatever. You know, um, I don't know. I'm here on behalf of, let's just say, Carnival Cruises. You know, and we're doing a huge promotion. We're inviting people off, you know, to get a free cruise. I'm sure you or someone you know, you guys thought about, you know, going on a cruise, right? Yeah, okay, take a look. And <laughs> I know. <laughs> It's crazy. Um, you know, and it was a buy one, get one free cruise. Like, you're not going to go alone, right? Of course not. So how it works is your friend pays for their cruise like they normally would, and your cruise is absolutely free. Yeah, it's crazy, right? And the best part is you guys have two years to use it. The only thing you're responsible for is your port taxes because, you know, Uncle Sam, you can't get rid of the taxes. You got to pay it. Sorry. But, yeah, it's pretty easy. Just flip it over, fill that out. That part comes with me. The rest stays with you. And um, get excited. You're going to be going on a cruise. Uh, yeah, I did that. I did that. I did that for um, sports teams. I did it for the Brewers in Wisconsin. I did it for the White Sox in Chicago. I did it for the Marlins in Florida. I did it for spas in all of those places. Um, I went to Philadelphia and did, you know, I was all over the United States, Arizona, um, California, like everywhere. Just pitching my little heart out, you know, <laughs> breaking records in Wisconsin and Madison. Just, anyway, too much information. Uh, speaking slowly, pausing, allowing people to process the information because if they're not processing it and they're really trying to follow you, there's a difference. They can follow you. So they're, they're, they're hearing everything you're saying, but they're not processing it. And if they don't process it, then they can't retain it. And you want people to retain the information that you're giving them because why are you speaking you know and and I still talk fast like I watch some of my videos and I'm like oh my god that's me that's me <gasps> I know exactly what my mom is saying you know like <laughs> now <laughs> yeah so yeah I wear these pajamas a lot I like them a lot I actually bought these for my future husband but it's been like a couple of years and I haven't met him yet, so I decided to rip them out and just wear them because I'm trying to use what I have and then give away a lot of stuff because they say that if you give stuff away, you're opening the door to receiving things because you're letting things go. I have a problem with letting things go and I'm at the point in my life where I'm starting to, so I wanted to wear these. I wasn't trying to give them away. No, 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 no. I want to wear them because I'm an extra large right now and I wasn't trying to go out and buy pajamas and then, you know, when people come over, I don't want them to see me and like my black tight pants and then like a shirt, you know, like mismatched pajamas and stuff. I was like, you know what, let me just look cute. So when people show up, they're like, oh, and I'm like, yeah, it matches with the outfit. And, and you're so comfortable walking around. Um, babble. So, so uh, I was talking about the speech, right? And then I was, I was talking about pajamas. And then, um, and then I was talking about, I felt like I was talking about something else, but maybe I wasn't. What did I want to talk about? I mean, this, this is none of the what I came on here to talk about. Oh, family. And I thank my mom, and I thank my tia. Oh, you're pro a product of your environment. Yes, that's what I wanted to talk about. So, uh, a lot of times you don't even realize it. Like, the, the, the advice, I guess, that I have, or the lesson, or the message, or whatever, is, you know, like, you're in control. You decide if you're going to be good or going to be bad. You make that decision wholeheartedly, 100%. You, no one else. You know? And I have always been able to look at the good and take the good and look at the bad and take the bad. And Don't get me wrong. Stuff has happened to me in my life. You know, I could probably out-trump a lot of people with some situations that I've encountered. But I don't talk about them because that's my business. I don't need to share it with the world. I mean, I'll share it at some point if it's, 
related like to whatever it is that we're talking about um but i'm not just gonna go out there and be like oh my god let me tell you the most traumatic thing that happened in my life or let me tell you all the drama that happened in my i don't have time for that sweetie i'm sorry i am trying to do things i am trying to make money I am trying to help people, I am trying to uplift and encourage people and make people laugh and smile because sometimes that's the best part of your day. You know what I mean? I don't need to hear what's going on in your problems in your life. Now if you're asking me for advice, I'll give you the advice. And if I give you advice time and time again and you never take it, I'm not giving you advice. I'm going to walk away and every time you come around, I'm going to ditch you. I'm going to be like, oh, I got to go. Because I don't have time for that. I really don't. And it's not that I don't care. I spent my 20s caring, listening to everybody, which is why I became the person that I am now in my 30s. And, um, I know, right? And so, uh, I can't believe it. <laughs> Sorry. It's so funny. It's like you look at you, you know, inside every older person is a younger person saying, what happened? You know? <laughs> like, what happened? Anyway, um, you decide, you choose, right? Or something. That's what I was saying. Oh my god. I really hope this isn't early onset Alzheimer's. So decide who you want to be and be that person. Oh yeah, I don't have time for all that. That's what it is. I don't have time for all that. So, the, oh my god. I really need to write this stuff down. Um, I don't have time for all that. And, and again, it's not that I don't care. I do. I care. I care very much. You know, I will help you with what I can help you. But if I can't help you, I gotta go. You know? Talk to someone who can. But make the choice. Make the choice of who you want to be. You might be in a really bad situation. But you don't have to stay in that situation. You can emulate the people that are in better situations than you, that are in great situations. And just keep emulating it and emulating it and, exp and copying it and be it. And after a while, you'll get out of your situation and you'll be in that positive situation. You need to find somebody that is where you want to be in life and then you need to do what they're doing so you can have what they have. Don't sit there and believe that your situation is where you're stuck because it's not. You decide everything. Everything. You decide to stay where you are. You decide to get out of where you are. You decide everything. And what I want for everyone is for you to be the best you that you can be. I want you to find a mentor. Find somebody to follow that will help you be the best you that you can be. And it may take a while, or you may be with somebody for a little while, and then you have to find another mentor, and then another mentor, because as, as you progress in each stage of your life, you're going to need someone else to follow. Does that make sense? So I just really hope that all you guys really find somebody that you that can help you be the best, the best you that you can be. And don't listen to the naysayers. Don't listen to the negative people. Don't listen to anybody that is putting you down or making you feel like you're not worth it. Because at this moment, that might be how they perceive you, but it's not who you are. You are who you decide you want to be. Okay? I love you guys. Um, and I, I'm going to go now. <laughs>